You know, when it comes to fire safety, there are some new products out on the market today that are me very exciting out there. Rob with Element, welcome to Around the House Northwest. Thanks for having me, Eric. Well, you guys have done a great job of creating this clean agent fire extinguisher that I have seen out there for, for you know, museums, places like that. But there is a great product out there that you guys have. Let's talk about it today, because I think this is a game changer when it comes to things around your home. Yeah, so the product is called the Element Fire Extinguisher, and it's a technology that was originally developed in Italy. It was uh, originally developed for the space program where you could put a fire out without robbing breathing oxygen. It was later then used uh, in applications where you have data centers or, or libraries or, ver or various archives of value where you want to be able to put a fire out without uh, damaging uh, the books or the, the data center or whatever have you. And uh, this is the first handheld application of that technology. So that it's been used by police, military, and special forces around the world for about 15 years. And we saw the value of turning it into a consumer product. That is perfect. So how do these work compared to a regular extinguisher? What makes that different? So if you're familiar with a regular fire bottle, let's talk about a typical five pound fire bottle. It's a yep. compressed gas cylinder. And inside of it is either a liquid, a powder, or some kind of a chemical that, that is shot out of it at pressure. And the problem with those is that uh, obviously they have a certain amount of size to them and they lose their pressure over time. Uh, so this is Element and you can see it's 80% uh, smaller, one tenth the weight of a regular fire extinguisher. But the cool thing is, is that if you pull the pin on a regular extinguisher and you squeeze the trigger, you get about nine to 11 seconds of spray. With an Element, you get 50 to 60 seconds of spray. Wow. So it's a lot more time and how does it achieve that? Well, inside of this aluminum casing is a solid chemical. And that solid chemical is deployed the way you would a road flare. So you take the cap off and it exposes a little chemical tip. And in the base, there is a striker, which you just take out of the bottom of the handle. You scratch the two chemicals together and it starts a chemical reaction. And the gas that comes out will chemically interrupt the fire. It doesn't rob the breathing oxygen and doesn't create any toxic byproducts. Wow, that is magical. I absolutely love it because I see why you developed, developed it for the space you know, industry out there because that makes a lot of sense because I tell you what, I would not want to have one of those big five pound ones in a, in a, in a loaded room like that where you're out in space to try to clean that up. Uh, another cool thing as well is that um, they never need any service. They never need to be replaced. And they're not effects, affected by extremes of temperature, vibration, humidity. So, a, you know, a typical powder extinguisher, when you carry it around your car, for instance, uh, the powder inside of it gets shaken around and gets compacted. Mm -hmm. So even though the needle might show green that it, that it still has, you know, charge in it, you go to use it, nothing comes out because the powder has been compacted into a solid. Yeah, that is brilliant, man. And that is something that I think everybody should have in their house because one, looks like it's gonna work a lot better and you can rely on it. And every few years, you don't have to go replace it or get it tested. I will also add that uh, it is rated for the typical, you know, ABC fires, which are, you know, solids, uh, liquids, gases, and electrical up to 100,000 volts. But it also has a rating for K fires, which is kitchen oils and fats. Nice. Now, a lot of people don't know that uh, the extinguisher that you use in a kitchen, the most common type of fire is an oil pan fire. Mm -hmm. And if you use a regular extinguisher on a burning pan of oil, you're going to blow the oil out of the pan. It's going to make a big fireball. So an element uh, releases its discharge uh, without a lot of pressure, which means it will not blow a loose trash or a liquid fire out of uh, wherever it's burning. Absolutely. Well, Rob, thanks for coming on. Where do people find these things if they're interested in finding one for their car or their home? So uh, our website is elementfire.com. On the website, it's possible to uh, not only purchase online, there's lots of articles that explain the product a little bit better. And we have a lot of videos, not only showing it in action, but videos that were sent to us by users uh, in real life emergency situations saving, uh, in some cases, you know, race cars and off-road vehicles and other situations like that. 
Man, that is great. Well, thanks for doing what you're doing. And uh, this is something that's very important out there that people should have in their home. Thanks for coming on today. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate it.